Well, Lee, welcome back to Ashton Gate. Just tell me, how difficult was this decision? How easy was this decision? Um, I think, obviously, on a on a level of being at a club like Barnsley that that bought me in and uh, going for a really good spell, which we were, and getting to the JPT final, of course, uh, you, you f you're very fond of everybody at the club, but Bristol City is my club. I mean, as soon as I found out that there was genuine interest, uh, it's a no-brainer for me. Got so many friends and family here, played here for six years, and and basically I support the club as well. So between uh, Bristol City and Yeovil, I spent ten years of my life in the southwest, and uh, uh, like I say, no-brainer because I know of the the plans of the people and uh, a fantastic opportunity for me and one I'm very, very grateful for. What is so special about this place then? I don't know, it's just that you, you feel like you're coming home, do you know what I mean? It's the people, it's the town, um, the stadium, the excitement of everything that's happening um, and just the infrastructure really. Uh, for me, obviously, I'm a real football person, I love my football and uh, I've always kept my eye on the club and uh, done very, very well last year in League One in, in the Championship. Uh, settled OK, obviously not a great start, but it was picked up recently and um, there's just so much potential. And uh, to come back uh, when it's in my heart and in my blood, if you like, is just uh, a fantastic personal achievement for me. Do you get a sense you'll need to get supporters on side in, in the early stages? Um, no, I don't actually. I, listen, I know that people will look at it and say it's a risky appointment. But I think that's football, you know. I feel uh, I know I was a bit of a Marmite type character as a player here. But I think generally people understood that whether I had a good game or a bad game, I was, and certainly the ones that know me very well, I was fully committed to doing everything I could right for Bristol City. Not just on the pitch, but off the pitch and uh, in the dressing room and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I understand that as a player, I was a little bit marmite and there was the shouts of nepotism, but uh, unless I sign my old man now <laughs> as assistant manager, then uh, then obviously they can't be can't be thrown at me. But for me, it's about being consistent. Uh, I love the place. I know there'd be some doubters, probably due to my inexperience at the level more than anything else. Um, but I'm really confident that given the time uh, and given the energy and the backing of both the board, and the supporters, then uh, we can achieve some really great things. Did you speak to your dad before saying yes to this job? Yeah, listen, my dad's my dad and uh, he's obviously a, a huge part of my life and, and my football career, so he's a confidant and, and a very experienced man. So uh, it was pretty simple though, it was get yourself down there son, because uh, he knows that it's a great owner uh, to be with, a very good board. Um, and I think that's really important uh, when if you're deciding to move from a club that you're already happy at. Johnson says banks around the ground. We heard it a couple of times at the Valley. I'm sure you did. Um, obviously, it was his chant. Are you happy to, to keep that going? I think if I was to inherit one thing from my dad, that uh, my dad's tenure, I would take that because it's a great song. Uh, everybody buzzes off it. Uh, it whips up the atmosphere and, uh, and the fans love it. So bounce around the ground, stand to the end.